ஹலோ 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 அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு என் ராகவ் டிவி ஃபார் எட் அனாதர் வீடியோ வி ஆர் ஹியர் ஃபார் தேட் வீடியோ தட் யூ பீன் வெயிட்டிங் ஃபார் சின்ஸ் எஸ்டர்டே ஆர்ஜென்டினா ஷாக்கிங்லி ஷாக்கிங்லி லூஸ் டு யூனோ சவுதி அரேபியா டூ ஒன் Messi scored a penalty but that wasn't enough to secure Argentina the 3 points. They've lost. They've lost the first game in the World Cup. I know a lot of things we need to talk about. So, this will be more of a tactical breakdown of what and why Argentina actually lost to Saudi Arabia. So, let's just jump on to the tactical board straight away. So this is pretty much how Argentina lined up with Emi Emi Martinez in uh, with Emi Martinez in goal Otamendi Romero Tagliafico Molina as our back 3 as our back 4 my bad then we had De Paul Paredes it was more like a 4 3 so it was something like this on paper is what that the it, this is what it look like so di maria messi lautaro but actually we lined up in a 4 4 di maria was on this right hand side there was lautaro and messi up top paredes in the holding midfield kind of a position so tagliavico here then romero dropping in romero on the right hand side autumn and d here paredes dropping in this kind of a space molina also playing very con- i mean decently high then dipol was a man who was running the show here pablo gomez played out wide on the left so pretty much what we played in the game but this is where the troubles began because this is where i feel scaloni scuffed his tactics and got it very 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 wrong especially for a counter attacking team like saudi arabia so especially if you look it was more like di maria here papu here so paredes kind of dropped in very very deep so it was more like these three in the midfield and then you had saudi arabia who were playing a 4 4 one 1 formation so basically they had a five man midfield against a three man argentina midfield so papu i mean these two are not defensively solid so papu gomez and di maria you had one against him one against him one against de paul then you had two others running down this channel and again this channel so this this was like a very very big exploitation for saudi arabia and their offside trap was perfectly executed for our saudi arabia because in the first half you saw those runs the ultimate reason for scaloni going doing this was to give those runs for lautaro and to give those runs for messi so you you know kind of messi moves into a free roam kind of a position and uh, you know drops in deep gives those runs and lautaro again playing that number 9 and giving those runs so instead of as uh, just lautaro running at the defense his ultimate aim was to have both both lautaro and messi run through those channels against a high defensive line so this is what scaloni i uh, wanted to do and did almost succeed in doing but saudi arabia's defensive line was just too 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 too, too good so let's talk about what argentina actually have been playing so if we replace papu gomez by gio loselso much of loselso and one more main change i want to make here is replace taglia fico with acuña because that's i that's how i think we should be do what we should be doing next game so with loselso what we used to do was paredes used to not play this deep in this game i saw him dropping in between center backs at times making it a back 3 so i don't want paredes doing that i want paredes much higher up in the pitch so there's otamendi romero and there's molina of course then acuña is the one who will be who's holding with on the left hand side there's rodrigo de paul here 
slightly deeper than the role that he played in the previous game then the, then we had giovanni lo celso this man people i mean people are under, underestimating how important giovanni lo celso was this was to this argentina midfield clearly clearly showed against saudi arabia how important he was this kind of a player is what we were missing in the midfield so gio lo celso would drop into this space di maria even though he plays wide he doesn't often go that wide does kind of you know come in centrally so then you had messi playing in this kind of a false nine role then you had lautaro off him so this is kind of how we play uh, otamendi and then paredes and romero this is kind of how we play lot if you if you look at this picture lot of our attack is down this center so most of our build up play is down that center of the park that is what is important uh, for argentina and in this game we didn't see much of this may this is because the absence of lo celso of course but rodrigo de paul had a shocker of a game against saudi arabia i was absolutely you know terrible i mean um, so he needs to improve lot of improvements needed again romero was average in that game licho since coming on looked good molina is fourth going to come back into that right back spot lot of questions for argentina but if there is one man that we need to talk about is enzo fernandez the moment he stepped on to the pitch man looked in a league of his own the midfield look so much more composed with him so much more composed and so much more actively playing the ball around is what is important because if you look at the game we were so passive so there was absolutely no passion as in the famous words of angry rant and there's no passion there's no aggression there's nothing we we were highly un- demotivated unmotivated in this previous game but we need to bounce back and few players i feel should start the next game acuña has to start enzo fernandez has to start julian alvarez i'm not sure how i'm going to you know sneak him into this lineup but julian alvarez has to come in man he was so good in that second half i mean we can't drop lautaro but i'm not sure but bring him on earlier in the second bring him on earlier in the second half itself he's a big big game changer julian alvarez start di maria continue to start di maria trust in di maria don't do what we did in against saudi arabia don't stick him you know touching hugging the sideline just let him get involved in the gameplay more try to keep the ball at the center of the park and we've got it boys next game mexico if i'm not wrong that game i want to see us back in our old tactics so i want to see the old argentina where is that finalismo argentina that pressing the tackling you know going hard for the ball winning it and that passion is missing boys where is it where is it in this game there, there wasn't there wasn't there wasn't honestly mexico poland two must must win games and we must improve both tactically and most importantly the mindset needs to improve messi says argentina fans calm down we've got this trust in messi trust in argentina vamos